Good morning, my brothers and sisters. This is Apostle Patrick Antoine welcoming you to LJHP Radio. And the subject that I have for you this morning, totally inspired by the Lord, is do what is right. And we read that by going in Deuteronomy 6, verse 18. Do what is right and good in the Lord's sight. Do what is right and good in the Lord's sight, so that it may go well with you, and you may go in and take over the good land that the Lord promised on oath to your forefathers. Trusting out all your enemies before you, as the Lord said. <clears throat> so we see God can swear. Hallelujah. <laughs> the Lord swore to bless you with a good land. The Lord promise an oath to the forefathers of the people of Israel to bless them. But Moses is saying in Deuteronomy, the last book of Moses, Moses is saying, do what is right so that it may go well with you. Hallelujah. You must do what is right in order for you to be blessed. Now we want to be blessed. We do not want to do what is right. Let's continue with the reading here. Deuteronomy 6 verse 20 now. In the future, when your son Ask you, what is the meaning of the stipulations, decrees and law and laws the Lord our God has commanded you? Tell him, we were slaves of Pharaoh in Egypt, but the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Amen and amen. Yes, you imagine now, you know, you are not where you supposed to be. That's when you are a slave, bound, in chain, in bondage, in a situation. But the law, but your children, <laughs> because your children come and to enjoy what you work for, what you have sworn. <laughs> they said, Daddy. Why we have to do that? You know, let, let us enjoy ourselves. <laughs> and you have to say to them, My son, it is good to obey my daughter. It is good to obey God. Where I am, it is God. It is good for you to do what is right. <laughs> amen and amen. But you know, this generation has an example. Because they see their wicked parents died in the desert because Caleb and Joshua, they were the only ones stay. Even Moses is saying, I'm not allowed <laughs> to enter the promised land just because of your parents. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Verse 22, before eyes, the Lord sent miraculous signs and wonders, great and terrible, upon Egypt and Pharaoh and his whole house. Yes, they have a story to tell. You will have a story to tell. How the Lord delivers you. Now we see the cynicism out there. The you know, people, they don't even believe in their own selves. How they will, you will believe in the God that you do not see. 
But I come this morning to say unto you, there is a God of miracle, a God of love, a God that want to bless you, a God that want to transform your life. You know, we have people, they say, yeah, I don't believe in the gospel, I don't believe in all these things, you know. But guess what? Do you want to live the supernatural life? Do you want to live the miraculous life? This is the only way. Obey the Lord's stipulations, the Lord's decrees, the Lord's laws, said Moses. And he said to them, in verse 24, The Lord commanded us to obey all these decrees and to fear the Lord our God, so that we might always prosper and be kept alive as it is the case today. There is a special prosperity that you can keep with you for the rest of your life. You can prosper always. But the Lord is saying unto me, I said, but God, I've been obedient, you know. You know, the husband of one wife, a good citizen, but I don't see the blessing. He said, well, let me tell you something. I trust you with my word. You are a man of power. You are changing life. Lives out there. He said, you know, all my chosen one, my voice, you are my voice. I, you know, you have a greater standard. You know, and he reminded me of Paul. You know, they stoned him to death. He doesn't have money to take care of business. To a point he said, you know, everybody deserted me. It is only you <laughs> that supported me. He said, yes. You know, I have to try you out to see if you are sincere with my word. <laughs> you know what you see? Most of the time, as soon God bless, you know, the pastors out there, they fall in diverse type of sin. They use God's money to do certain things. And then he reminded me, he said, look at uh, John living in the desert. He wasn't a man of great mean. You know, I caused him to eat locusts and honey. It's not a great diet because, you know, he's trusted with my word. He said, the, the people who preach the gospel, you know, there is a greater standard of trust. And see, if you will pursue my word, if you will stand, because not everybody has the chance to hear the voice of God, to receive visions and dreams. Amen and amen. But you, pastors out there, I'm telling you, don't waste that call, that noble call in sin. Do you see what happened to Aaron? Die in the desert because of his disobedience. And look at Joshua. Ready to assume the leadership. Yes. For what? Because he obeyed. He obeyed the Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So, this is the only way, you know, I'm, 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 I'm transforming life, making people, people, people's rich out there. Get, you know, when they drive the brand new car, you know, they, whoa, I get the house, uh, apostle, whoa. I get that business going, I'm, you know, and then suddenly you don't hear from them. <laughs> they are busy taking care of the blessing, and then I, I will hear from them. After a few <laughs> sit back and they said, well, I put some pray for me. <laughs> amen and amen. But guess what? Moses said, obey. Fear the Lord. You will always prosper and be kept alive. Verse 25. 
And if we are careful to obey all this law before the Lord our God, as he has commanded, that will be our righteousness. Only through obedience, you will be considered righteous. So there is something right for you to do today. You are going to lghp.org and place your offering toward the building fund. You will see the page. Amen and amen. LGHP building funds. Click that and place your offering. I give you two options. One, you can enter whatever the amount. And the other one, there are some chosen amount. So, do what is right. Help me buy that little church. I want to close today like I said. Hallelujah. I want to close today. But be that one door, be that one person that will place your offering. At least you will say, you know, if the apostle didn't close this afternoon, if I see him tomorrow, it's not because of me. I have done my part. I bless you. May the Lord bless you for a wonderful day. Enjoy the Lord. Don't fall into the cynicism out there. Be a lover, not a hater, because the Lord will bless you this day with his spirit, and you will know what to do. I say these things in Jesus' name. Amen.